Hi guys, um, so I'm at River Hamble. Um, before we open this packet, I'll show you my mounts. I'll do a close shop up shot. I'll do a close up shot of that. All right, and show you why I've had to replace this one. This is Ilanzi. I don't know what the the code is, but I'll give you a close up shot of why I needed to buy a new product by Ilanzi. Okay. Hi right, guys, so welcome back. So this is the problem we have here. As you can see here, it's coming out and that's going to fall out while in the field and that's going to be inconvenient. Okay, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay guys, so as you can see, that's broken. So I went on line and I looked for an appropriate one which is very similar to this. So I chose to buy um, a Lanzi ST03 mini smartphone tripod mount. So I'm opening this, I kept this package closed. Um, so obviously I could do the unboxing video with this view. So let's have a look. This is what you get. So I'll do a close-up shop of obviously opening this, guys, all right? All right, guys, so here is the box. All right, let's undo it. Good, it's not taped down. It's in a protective case, like a rubberized case. There you go. What do you have in there? That's it. Take a better view in a minute. Okay guys, so we're going to open it. Okay. And come back. So we got a quarter of... Uh, of an inch. Uh, apparently that should be the cold shoe but we'll see that in a minute. Apparently that's an Arco Swiss there but we'll test that out. All right. Okay that's it for the, we'll change the angle of the camera so you can see a bit better. All right guys let's mount this. I'll come in a bit closer so you can see. So let's come in about that. I just need to open it. Before I mount it, I'll compare it to the other one. Make sure there's enough, there's enough room there. So let's see, that's got no springs in that one. So they're very similar in design, obviously, but these ones have got springs. So it's got shorter rods, so let's put that in. So this one's going to be this way round because that one's got the, the thread at the bottom, as you can see there. So it's going to mount this properly. See that? Let's adjust it a little bit so it doesn't touch the buttons. There's not much room with the case on. So not pressing in. Problem because you've got a backing bit there. Okay, I don't like that. Well, let's do it without the case on. So there's already a floor in there, so there's not much room in there. Um, I tend to, like when I'm mobile, leave the case on to protect the phone from getting cracked. So let's try that again. White way around. So without the buttons. It's not flush in, mate, is it? That's the problem. 
sa sin okay so what we're going to do now I'm going to pull it onto the uh, Arco Swiss to test this one alright guys so I've got an Arco Swiss clamp here which is here so I was just going to see if it clamps down alright so what we're going to do And then we're just going to change the angle of the camera. As you can see guys, so I've clamped this in. So I'll probably pull it a little bit further back. But with a ball head you can just turn it any angle you want to do it really. So let's see how secure that actually is. Without knocking the microphone. That's in. No budging. So that's quite handy when I use this particular tripod, okay? Because I've got an Arco Swiss uh, clamp at the top, which um, I love this, but it's just so heavy. I will get a carbon fiber one eventually, but that's a hundred quid. So, what we'll do, just clamp that on. All right guys, so we set the shot up there. And then we record. And that's it. So that's the advantage of this bit here. That's probably a pro so far. The con is it's not on there. It's slightly touching the screen there. So you've got a risk of it getting damaged with, the, with that on. So I found a con already, but that's the way it is. I'll see you in the next segment. Right. Let's go and try to mount it on my Lanzi MT16, okay? I tend to use this one, but this one's more efficient, so I might get another one of these. Um, keep this one, but I'm gonna get another one of these through Amazon. So I've got another two weeks till I go in the woods, so I'm gonna order it today. It's annoying. So I'm just gonna mount this onto here. Ball head on here is not very good, so I'll just do it there. Okay, it's secure. Alright. So we're going to test the cold shoe. With a shotgun mic. I'm not going to take the cables out, no point. Um, I tend not to use a shotgun mic. I know some people do, but I don't like the noise. So this one has a wheel at the bottom to tension it. So what we're going to do, there's a lip underneath, I'm just screw that down, I'll give you a close up shot in the next bit. Alright guys, so that one's clamped down, that's not coming out, but it's too flush on the end, I tend to use my uh, little um yeah i don't like that but that does on a pinch doesn't it all right yeah that'll do on a pinch let's compare it to the other one this one's a bit more flushing so that one's a bit more secure than that so the next one we're going to do is the road wireless go And that will be in the next segment. All right, let's try this with the Rode Wireless Go. So I'll put the transmitter, sorry, the receiver on there and see how that is. I don't like that. It's not on at all. No, I don't like that at all. This is 250 pounds worth of equipment compared to this one. I don't even like this one as well. No. No, I don't like that. 
That's a no-go for that one. I'll compare it on to um, the actual other mount I've got. So this one's a bit similar to what comes with the, uh, so with this one. So it's a bit more deeper end, so it's more secure. So that will go in compared to this one. And this one, and this one. But I'll show you on the flip side. All right guys, so I'm gonna show you the difference with this particular product. So this one is not going in because of that bar, as you can see there underneath. And we compare it with the other Alanzi. So that's not going in at all. And then we've got the last one, which is this one, which is going in fully. So it's not coming out. As you can see, look. So this one, I'll show you again. That is not good, that's gonna damage the clip. So that's as far as it's gonna go in and that's gonna come out. So that is a con. So, so I don't want to damage the clip, so it's only supposed to go in a little bit. That is going to come out. All right, guys, so here's another one, as you can see there. Flush that on there. That one's quite flush, as you can see there. All right, guys, so this is the original mount. As you can see there, it's not flush. There. You can see the screws in the way that, all right. So there's the amount there, as you can see there. I'm putting it underneath, and that is not flush at all. As you can see there, it's got a risk coming out, and that's got more risk. Bye bye, go, uh, Rose Wireless Go, 250 pound. No, it's not good as a cold shoe, guys. Guys, so I'm going to do a run test with this one, but I'll be filming on this camera here. Um, just a little thing that I've noticed, it's not flush. I'll show you in the next segment, show you in the next segment. Okay guys, so on here, if you can see, there's a gap there that's not 100% secure. Alright, I'll show you on the other one. Right, as you can see here, it's got more on surface area on there, so it's going to be more secure than the other one, okay? So I've already got a con for this, so I'm going to definitely buy another one of these. As you can see, it's not flush. Look at that, it's not good. As you can see with the phone case, there's a bit at the back, all right? All right guys, I'm gonna do a running test with this while talking into the camera. I'm just gonna run along that bit there. So I'm not gonna swing it around that way in case it goes in the water. Move around, up, down, let's shake a little bit. Run, run, run. I'm right, gonna switch the camera around so you can see it from the other side. Guys, run test. Moving it around. Sorry about the stabilisation. Right, so it's secure, but I'm not 100% really happy with it. But I'm going to go back and get the other one. Alright guys, so that's my little testing of the Alansi ST03. Um, I am going to go and buy that one. It's better for with the phone case on there. Because of the back end of the phone case, it's not flush into the, it's not secure, and the prongs are going to end up damaging the, uh, damaging it. But I'll show that on the other phone before I pack this away. As you can see there, there's a gap in the back, all right? Compared to this, has no back. Hence why I'm going to get another one of these, all right? 
just unfortunate it failed on me. All right guys, so that's my take on the Alanzi ST03. Okay, there's a, quite a few cons on there. As, um, as you can see, the cold shoe is not flush, the same as that one. I will find my other mount, which I preferably use for my um, wireless microphone. Um, so this is not good for it, my particular phone case because on the back I, it's metal which goes on my um, car phone mount which is magnetic. So that's my honest review of this. So there's a few cons on this one. There's a con on that which is um, the mount, the uh, spring, but Still a good mount, but it has its flaws. Not many people I've seen on YouTube have said the flaws. But I'll go and buy another one of these, which is going to cost me another 20 quid. <laughs> but it's fine, I'll get it anyway, and I'll use this as a spare one. Alright? So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, see another video. Bye bye.